So I'm going to scroll forward, and let's say that about, about right there, we want our ship to be leveled out. So my front twist over here in the channel box is still selected, so I can middle mouse drag left and right. But I want them to be completely straight, so I can just type in zero. Click back on front twist, right click on those words, and then I'm going to click on key selected again. So now we just keyed, uh, created two keys. So if you look on our curve now, we've got right there 138 and right there 331. Those are those two keys that we just created. So if we go back to the beginning of my animation, okay, now at the beginning, we're starting out curved, so let me go ahead and just select my ship, input nodes, under motion path, front twist, I'm going to go ahead and make that zero, whoops, zero, click on the words front twist, and let's just put a key there, so key selected. All right, so now as we go through, you can see, and then he starts to level back out. So it's basically doing what we just told it to do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go forward until, all right, I need to change my range slider down here to a thousand. All right, now right here on this curve, let's say I want him to bank the other direction. And let's say that I want him completely sideways when he gets right here. All right, I'm going to right click, key selected, and on this curve I want him the other direction, right click, key selected, and let's say about right here he levels out, I'll just type in zero, right click, key selected, All right, so let's go all about the beginning, and let's kind of scrub through this one more time, make some final adjustments if we have to. All right, he starts turning immediately, but I want him to be straight until he gets to about right here. Or at least till right there. So right there, I'm gonna go ahead and go to channel box, change front twist to zero, click on front twist, right click, key selected. Alright, so he stays straight, then he starts to turn, he levels back out, alright, he's turning too soon right here, so what I'm going to do is, let's say I don't want him to turn until about right here, so I'm going to go ahead and change front twist to zero, click on the word front twist, right click, key selected. Now he banks. All right, that looks good. And then he levels out. All right, so there's our animation. It's done. So let's rewind and hit the play button and see what it looks like. Levels out, dips down, then he starts banking left, then he banks right to go around that curve, and then he levels out. All right, stop. Now our animation is going really slow. An easy way to fix that, or to adjust that, is to, and you don't have to have anything selected. You're going to go to your Windows menu, you're going to go down to Animation Editors, and then over to Dope Sheet. Click on Dope Sheet. You're going to go under View and click on Scene Summary. And now in the left-hand column, you should see Scene Summary now. Just click on it. And now all you want to do is just use uh, switch to your Scale Tool. So you can either hit the letter R or you can go over here in your toolbox on the left-hand side and just click on your Scale Tool. When you do that, you'll see a white box now. Now to navigate inside here is just like navigating inside your view panels. Alt right mouse button to uh, zoom in and out or you can use your scroll wheel and to pan alt 
and then middle mouse button to uh, pan left and right. All right, so all I did was I just zoomed out and just got to where I could uh, see this whole white box here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to left click on it and now I can uh, drag it. And that's smaller is going to make it faster, longer is going to make it slower. So this right here is uh, it's going to take longer time to do the whole animation. This right here is going to take a short amount of time to do the animation. So let's uh, adjust this window so you can see here. All right, I'm gonna hit play. You can see it's pretty slow. I'll go up here, make this a little smaller. Hit play again. Now it's a little faster, but it's still a little slow. So I'm gonna go up, make this scale out a little smaller up here in my dope sheet. Hit play. That looks a lot better already. And actually, that's probably pretty good right there. Might even want to speed it up a little bit more. All right, I believe that's going to do it. All right, last thing to do is let's get rid of our curve. We can either select it, and then we can go up to our display, hide selection and then to bring it back display show show last hidden another way we can do it is select our curve go up to the attribute editor for it click on your curve tab uh, you should see a motion tab a shape tab and a, a curve tab click on your curve tab and then you should see a section that says display just expand that out and you'll see visibility so now we can turn that off all right so let's uh check out our animation here let's go to the beginning and I'm gonna kinda see what this looks like here there we go so there's our animation our ship flies in dips down banks and then banks goes around the corner Look at that one more time. And if I just scrub through that, there comes there's our ship, goes down, goes up, banks to the right, missing the building, and then he banks and goes around. So that's it. That's our animation. Now since we slowed it down, uh we might want to right now my animation goes to a thousand, but as you can see it's it's finishing a lot sooner than that. So I might change my in time my animation uh, playback range at 300 so now if I play it starts back over a lot faster so there we go now if you want to pull your curve back up easy way to do it is just go up to windows go down your outliner and then you should see curve in there just click on curve and once you have curve selected you can either hit Control A or go up here on your shelf to the far right. Uh, you'll see these three symbols. Click on that one right there, and that pulls your attributes back up. Click on your Curve tab, and then just click on your visibility back, and it brings your curve back. So that way, if you need to make more adjustments to your curve, that's where you can do it. So even after your object is attached, we can still go in here and make some adjustments to our curve. So I can right-click, make sure our curve selected. Right-click, select Control Vertex or Vertice. And now we can just start making some adjustments. So you can see that it doesn't affect our uh, animation. So I could actually pull all this down, rewind, and it still stays on our path. And that concludes this tutorial. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.